Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 211 of the Let's Play the Prince and the Thane mod for City Kings 2. We have one goal for this video, just one, and that's to take over the Holy Roman Empire. We have 17 and a half, 17.2 thousand gold. I think that that is going to be enough. I really hope it is. I can't imagine it not being. But, um, okay, so let's see how that is looking. This character here actually is got eight votes. So let's murder him first. Use that court in the capital. Oh, that's why. It's because it's the sun. He's going to be expensive to murder then. But let's kill him anyway. We're going to have to kill him at some point. Three times. Four. That's 1,800 gold for one kill. You see why I was worried. Let's go down here a bit and just pick anybody. doesn't really matter who. Okay, there's that. And now you. At least a couple of those were pretty inexpensive. Now, I don't like how it doesn't update, so I think what I can do... I thought I saw this work. I change my nomination. There we go. If I change my nomination, it updates. And all I'm trying to do is to get myself on this list, ideally in the first spot. Let's go murder this guy now. There, I'm on the list. Cool. Okay, well, what about, um, my spy master is the guy I'm trying to murder. So let's pick somebody else. This guy's reigning in gallery. Sorry, spy master. Former spy master guy. You're one of my guys, but, ooh. He's got pretty good intrigue, apparently. Uh, good luck. Come on. Don't get caught. Good. Okay. I'm second. If I nominate somebody else and then nominate myself again, does it reset it? It does. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I'm the only person who has two votes. Apparently Prince Bishop, Prince Archbishop Paul is voting for me as well. Yeah, let's murder this guy. So if you need justification for, like, why this isn't... Why this is, uh... This is kind of gamey, right? But here's what happened. So we went to this summit, right? I said, everyone needs to meet. We need to have a convening. What am I doing? We need to convene because we need to talk about the future of the world. And I, I got them all to come. Nice job. I actually got on the first try. I need them all to come. Yes, I'm listed first. That's awesome. And, um, and when they all came, I murdered them all. And I said, that's the future of the world. They didn't really like it very much, but... Okay, we're listed first, and and I think that's it. So theoretically, unless this is just completely not going to work, if uh, 
the Kaiser were to die right now, I'm listed as the heir. So let's try it. This guy's leading troops in Saluzo. Yes! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> and we only needed like 5,000 gold. Beautiful! Look at that. That is gorgeous. Here, let's stand these down. We're at war with uh, somebody. Um, wow, that is so gamey. So yes, yeah, so everyone came into the room, and, and we sat them around, and I stepped outside to go to the bathroom or something, and then we blew them all up with horse manure. All of them at once. Or something. And so, um, awesome. And the very first thing I'm going to do as the uh, emperor of the Holy Roman Emperor, Holy Roman Empire, rather, is to delete the title. It's going to make everyone pissed off. But I don't care. The Holy Roman Empire is now destroyed. And so, yes, so these people are going to be very upset with me for having destroyed the title. But it doesn't matter. Because even if my character dies, even if, even if there's a, an independence war, that empire is gone. Which means that I can easily conquest pieces of it. And, um, and I'm a lunatic. So it makes sense. Now what I'd like to do is create all the kingdoms. Although I, pr I probably should not until we act... Oh god, I have 188 vassals. I probably should not until I have actually started doing English conversions. So, okay, so we have 4,121 holdings. Let's take a look at the ledger now. Look at independent realms. Independent states. 4,000, so... Venice holds 141, Pisa, the Pope is at 32, Abyssinia is still at 23, Genoa, Corsica. See, I thought there was another republic here. This is the, the Re Duke of Corsica. Why can't I attack him? Hmm. Okay, what else is there? And there's all these single holding people. Let's straighten these out. Ah, oh, shoot, he's not, my re he's not in my realm. There's an independent Wali here in Sirt. Let's attack him. I have raised levies. And apparently I'm still at war. Hopefully this doesn't break the game, because I've got the Seventh Holy Roman War, and the Holy Roman Empire's gone. What happens when we win this war? Well, um, whatever, let's declare war on this guy. Oh, looks like that embargo war ended. Cassus Belli no longer valid. Yeah, that's fine. Now, what to do with all this money? Well, I could lower taxes now. I don't really need the money. That would definitely make succession easier. Alright, well that went so much quicker and simpler than I expected. I wasn't even 100% sure it'd work, but it worked beautifully. Okay, can we change laws? I could raise taxes, but I don't, I really don't think I'm going to need the money for anything aside from assassinations and stuff. So for the sake of making the realm secure, let's just drop the taxes down to normal. Y you'd think that this means I'm going to make no money, right? But actually, 
all that having it at large does is give me 15% more than minimum. So for negative 30 opinion, I gain 15% noble tax. But if you hover over the income from these guys, you'll see I'm at 35% noble tax total. So if I lose 15, I'm losing a little bit less than half of the actual taxes. So I'm still going to make, you know, a solid 1,400 gold minus half, so like 700 gold a year. But then you've also got to consider that their opinion is going to go up by 30, so the income that I do get from the others will go up. So it's not going to be, I'll probably lose like 500 or 600 gold a year by doing that. But let's do it. Let's drop feudal taxation down to minimum. They've got a vote on it. How nice. Meanwhile, let's find another one of these things to fix. There's a bishop here in this county. I don't understand. I just don't understand why they don't declare war on them quicker. I mean, they've got a claim to it just because it's a county claim. Like, why do I have to do this? All right. So, yeah. So, that'll change soon. We were at 1,500. Let's see where we end up. Two of them here. What do you want now? That's, um... No, you're a German. No. Only English people get it. Okay, so our annual income is, uh, what? It's way higher now. How does that work? What the hell? Oh, you know what? It's probably because all of those people who were in the Holy Roman Emperor were paying me nothing, and now they're paying me something. It's amazing how the math really kind of works out. Apparently, opinion's way, way, way more important. So we lowered taxes, stabilized the realm, and now we make twice as much. <laughs> Makes sense. How? I don't. Okay, I don't understand that. Noble vassal tax. Yeah, it did. The math works out. The math checks out. I always thought if they had zero opinion, they pay the full amount. Twenty percent of thirteen. Yeah, they pay the full amount of taxes if they're at least zero. So that must that must mean that that many people went so much higher that it's crazy. My bastard. Hmm. Let's ridicule him. Detached priest. Everyone becomes a detached priest. It's like the only education they can get. Oh, look at that. We're down to like a single page. Nearly. Oh, shoot. Not really. Close. So, yep, getting close. Just doing single county claims, then we got to take care of the republics. If we continue to make... Ah, uh, see, now it updated again. I don't understand what's happening. Now we're down to 1,100. That's more like what I expected, 1,200. So we lost 300 gold for, for changing that rule. Wow, I have a strong, tall boy. I want him to, him to be the character we play as.
I don't understand why that's happening right there. Okay, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I'll see you next time.